If you're looking to upgrade your typing and PC gaming experience, a good keyboard can make a big difference. The Parix PX5200 brings the amazing feel and sound of the original Cherry MX switches to a fairly inexpensive keyboard. So let's find out if it's right for you. In the box you will find a detachable braided mini USB cable as well as a USB to PS2 adapter. The build quality of the keyboard is very solid with no flex, and I really like the feel of the textured plastic. I definitely prefer this over Razer's soft touch material, which gets scratches and picks up oil very easily. The keycaps are removable just like any other mechanical keyboard, and underneath that you will find Cherry MX Blue switches. These are my favorite type of switches as they give a very tactile feeling, but keep in mind that these are very loud, so this may not be ideal for an open office environment. Here is an audio sample. Cherry MX switches are made in Germany, and they're constantly on short supply which makes them even more expensive, but I much prefer these over the newer KO switches, which are made in China. These switches have a 45 gram actuation force, which is great for people who are used to membrane keys. The keys are also individually backlit, and the characters are all laser edged, and they look good. The backplate is made of plastic, which makes the key presses feel softer than my Black Widow Ultimate, but it also makes it a lot quieter. This is a positive trade-off, as most people will prefer the sound of bottoming out plastic over metal. If you want a quieter typing experience, just check out my O-Ring Mod tutorial. On the bottom of the keyboard you will find 4 rubber feet and 2 rubber risers. There is also a mini USB input jack and cable routing cutouts. This keyboard has a gaming mode key, which disables the Windows key, Alt, Tab, Control, Alt, Delete, so you don't accidentally return to your desktop while in-game. So how does this perform when gaming and typing? Well I certainly enjoyed using these switches and I much prefer them over the regular membrane style keys. If you enjoy the sound of mechanical switches and you don't need a wrist rest, the $100 price tag is very well worth it. I can definitely recommend this keyboard to a pro typist or just a casual gamer. Links for pricing and availability are below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button. I'll be making a Q&A video very shortly, so make sure you leave any questions below in the comments or over on Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next video.